All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and I'm back here today to show you another Windows 10 tutorial talking about how to kill processes in the event that you find that something's frozen on your computer. Maybe there's a program you opened that suddenly got everything freaking out. It's making your computer really laggy. Whatever reason you might have to need to shut down something in an emergency or because it's not behaving itself, you're going to want to use the Windows Task Manager. There's a couple ways to access the Task Manager. One way is to simply type into the search bar Task Manager. Another way is to go to the dock at the bottom of the screen and go to Task Manager after you've right-clicked it. A little pop-up menu will pop up. Or you can go Control-Alt-Delete and this screen will allow you to access the task manager, lock your computer, or switch users. And once you've got that open, you have a couple of different options to pick from. One of them is to just go through and find the process that you want to kill. And the other is you can look through some of these other tabs to see what the performance on your computer is. Maybe you're running low on memory or something else is going on. Uh, but really what you want to do is find that program it may be eating up a lot of space. Let's say it's the Windows Explorer windows, or maybe... What can I kill here? Maybe it is the fact that the VR services are running in the background, and all you have to do is find that program, click on it, and then click on End Task in order to kill it. Sometimes Windows will pop up a little pop-up window saying that something has made the program freak out and it has stopped working. And you can simply tell it, well, I don't really need to, to go ahead and try to fix it or anything. And just cancel, just let it die, just close it, and we'll be all happy dory, hunky mori, and all that stuff. So that's how the task manager works. It's pretty quick and simple to use. You just want to go to your processes tab, find the program in question, or just find the one that's eating up all your memory. In my case, it's Chrome, because I've got a few tabs open that I need to shut and uh, then end task, and you're good to go. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.